Well, I think we always hope that people are going to have a very strong ability to communicate. And so we judge people's CVs quite quickly by their ability to actually communicate the special thing that they're offering, their experience and the quality of their projects. So I suppose the one single piece of advice I would give would be to distill down maybe one, two or three key projects rather than everything you ever did. A letter, a letter of introduction that says, hi, dear, dear David, or dear Christoph, or dear Studio Grey West, I would like to work with you, not for you, with you in your studio because X, Y, and Z. Pretty fundamental there. That gets jobs. Well, ideally, we're looking for confident people and people that um, will be able to handle the responsibility that we give them. Because in the studio, we like people to take responsibility really early. So I suppose a sense of confidence and a smile is probably the most important thing for us. Don't mind. Happy either way. Uh, we've, we've had some really extraordinary hard, hard copies sent through before. But if you're going to send something hard, at least make it beautiful, bound in an unusual way or, or designed in a particular way. But very open-minded, to be honest. You're very happy for people to wear whatever they feel comfortable in. It goes back to the confidence thing. So whatever you, that the candidate feels happiest in is good for me. Well, I always like to, uh, to see that the candidate knows in some way, shape or form where they might be wanting to head. And so I think it's a very fair question to ask what might I be working on and who might I be working with, the scale of projects and the type of project that might be coming up. I think that's a very fair question um, and I think um, we, we don't ever have a problem with anybody asking us anything so very open-minded again in terms of you know, nothing, nothing held there. Strategy with specificity. That's been our mantra for 13 years now. Uh, yeah, still the same. Oh, we have a lot of clubs, uh, I suppose the one I'm most passionate about is our cycling club, uh, hence I've got Windchap lips today, I've just cycled from uh, Girona to Cannes, uh, which was quite a few miles, but a few weeks ago we cycled from London to Manchester, that's one of our, our, our many clubs. We also have a yoga club, Tai Chi club, basketball club, um, softball club, sports masseuse, Health and well-being is very much at the heart of, of our practice. Uh, we think that's the heart of the neighbourhoods we design and the heart of the places we make, so it needs to be the heart of the studio as well. <laughs>